What's up creatives? Y'all been asking me what the effect is that I do with the glass when we put it up in front of the lens and what it actually does. So I want to show y'all real quick what exactly it does and how you do it. So basically what this effect does, it adds flare to your shot and it actually adds a, a ghost effect. When I say ghost effect, it's like a, a blurry effect of the person's body coming up off of them and back on them. So basically how you achieve this effect is you have to use a 50 millimeter lens or higher. Typically the cheap $100 50 millimeter lenses that you can get at Best Buy work perfect for it. That's what I use. You have to drop the aperture as low as possible then of course you want to keep your shutter speed around like 100 125 or maybe a little higher I typically only do this on performance shots and what you want to do is you want to use like a mason jar or like a drink glass in your cabinet most hotels that I stay at always have like two glasses in them so I grab those if we're shooting in a hotel personally I'm gonna use the glass that's in my cabinet this is the glass that's in my cabinet right now so I'm gonna use this on the test and then basically you want to put the glass or the mason jar up close to the lens and just kind of move it around and play with it like you know till you get that effect that you like it's all personal preference so it's how you like it but sometimes I do go up and down or side to side just to give that effect. I'll show you a quick example right here. Yeah, so that's basically how you achieve that effect to get a flare or like a ghost effect. You get the 50 millimeter, you drop the aperture really low, and you just play around with it in front of the lens a little bit to your liking. I hope that helped you, man. I hope y'all liked this tutorial. I hope it was quick, fast, and easy, man. Like this video. Share it for others to see. Let's make everybody great, man. Subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more coming for y'all. Peace. Peace.